Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my combined 11 for Manchester United versus Liverpool. That goes down tomorrow afternoon. Now, I am not a Man U fan, I'm not a Liverpool fan, so my opinion in theory should be unbiased, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So basically what I'm going to do, as I'm sure you've probably seen before somewhere, or, or combined 11 of anything, pick a starting 11 of both Liverpool and Man U players and see what would be the, the best team that I could come up with between them. Because obviously this is one of the biggest games in Premier League, it's played at Old Trafford, Old Trafford and we will see who will come out victorious tomorrow. But that is for tomorrow. Today, let's pick the combined 11 or what I think would be better. You can let me know yours down in the comments below if there's anything you disagree with because there'll be Man U fans, there'll be Liverpool fans and I'm sure there'll be something that you disagree with. Okay, so to start off with, in goals, we are going to go... Now, that's tough. It's obviously between Adrian and David De Gea. Now, Adrian. <laughs> Imagine. Obviously between Alisson and David De Gea. Now, David De Gea has been excellent this season he's kept Man United so many points it's been unreal he's back to his good old self he had a dip in form last season and to be honest I'm going to kind of base this off of eight games and try not to be swayed uh, by previous things that they've done Allison has just he's always good but because I know there's going to be so many more Liverpool players in this mainly and De Gea's kept so many points for Man United I am going to have to go for De Gea right back wan Saka, Trent. There's only one choice, and it's not wan Saka. It's Trent. It's easy. I don't know how anyone can really debate this. Defensively, wan Saka is a great defender. We know that, but going forward, Trent is one of the best in the league in any position. And also, do you see that tackle he made against Watford? Unreal. Trent is now getting that defensive side to his game right, and it's going to be so interesting to see what happens. Now, centre-backs. Centre-backs for me is tough because... Naturally, you go Van Dijk, Maguire. The two sort of lead centre-backs for both of the teams. However, Maguire's been injured this season and he has struggled a bit in the last two games. And it's fantastic that he's back because he just pushes Man United further up the pitch. But due to his struggles in the last few games and being injured, and I'm trying to base this off of just this season alone, I am indeed going to go for Matip and Van Dijk, the Liverpool back two have been phenomenal, they've conceded one of the least amount of goals in the league and that's superb, Van Dijk is back, he's amazing, Matip is a fantastic defender, he's made of watsits for legs but he's a fantastic defender, the boy is made of glass but he can defend, but Maguire has come back from an injury, he's not quite there yet and I'm sure if I do one in the return fixture at Anfield, Maguire may be back in this back two pairing or Varane but at the minute with injuries and other things, and, and Varane not being used to the league, that has to be the back two. Now, left back is is very tough, because Robertson's fantastic, and so is Luke Shaw. And Luke Shaw had an amazing last season, at, and Euros as well. And Robertson had, as you've had a fantastic four seasons, or whatever it's been at Liverpool, a fantastic, fantastic fullback. So for me, I'm going to go for, once again, it's going to probably be swayed, because there's not going to be that many Man U players in this. But Shaw has been phenomenal. He's always phenomenal. The way he goes forward on the pitch. And now especially considering Rashford is back. That is going to be very interesting to see how he does. Um, because those two work phenomenally well together. We saw it last season in the Premier League. So that will be interesting to see what happens there. Next up we then have. In the central midfield. So we're going to go with a midfield three. Obvious choice in that midfield three. Fabinho. Easiest one to pick, Fabinho. Absolutely easiest, easiest choice, probably one of the easiest choices other than someone we've not mentioned yet to go into this team. He's a phenomenal holding midfielder. The best in the league, probably, other than Kante. That's the argument, I would say. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because Henderson hasn't been as good this season as he has been in previous. And if we're basing it solely off this season... I think we have to go Pogba to be in that other midfield role because it's not going to be Fred, it's not going to be McTominay. Van der Beek doesn't play. Henderson hasn't been there this season. Thiago's been injured quite a lot and he's been fantastic when he's played, but he's just not been consistent enough yet. And if this was a big team coming up in a big game, I'd want Pogba because he doesn't have that many, like just the assists. He's the top assister in the league. Incredible. He Absolutely incredible. It has to be Pogba based off this season so far. I'm sorry, but it does. And the other midfielder, the attacking one, Bruno. 
Bruno Fernandes. It's got to be Bruno Fernandes, 100%. He has been amazing. He always is amazing. Great for assists, great for goals. I know he missed the penalty, but he worked so hard for the team. He plays so well, even in midweek against Atlanta. Completely changed the game with his assist for Man United. And it's been fantastic. And I, I don't know who wouldn't put Fernandes in the team. He's probably the most cert Man U player there is. And going forward now to the front three on right wing, the most certified, unarguable, complete... So, there's not even an argument. Like nobody is gonna go no Salah. Like the the biggest Man United fan in the world who hates Liverpool is picking Mohamed Salah in this team. Best player in the world by far, by far right now on form. The way he's playing, finishing the goals he's scoring, top scorer in the league, electric. And Liverpool are gonna really miss him when it goes to the Africa Cup of Nations. I know they're trying to do everything they can to keep him. But we'll see how that goes. But my God, Salah is fantastic. And there's no way that if you ever watch a video of the combined starting 11s and he's not in it, they are lying to themselves. Now, left wing. Now, this one for me, this one for me would be a lot closer if Rashford, if Rashford was fit. If Rashford was been fit all season, he's played two games, two goals, fantastic. But if he was fit all of this season... I might go for Rashford down that left-hand side, but he's not been. And Mane has been growing back to that level we've seen of him before. You know, Sadio Mane is the best player in the world. Back to that level. And for me, it's got to be Mane on the left-hand side. He has done phenomenal things this season. And he's growing back to the player that we know he can be. He had a bad season last season comparatively to his other ones. It still wasn't a bad season probably for most wingers. But for him, yes, and he's back. And that's why he's got to be on the left-hand side. If Rashford's fit, maybe if we do this debate in six months, a year's time, it's Rashford. But right now, on form, Mane. And up front, up front is difficult because I know, I know my new fans are going to be, Viva Ronaldo! It's got to be, it's got to be Ronaldo. It's got to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Fantastic. Amazing. Superstar. He's going to play against Liverpool and his name's going to be in all the headlines. But I'm going for Firmino. He's been superb. I know he has his moments where he's not as good as the others. But he's just got a hat trick. Like, I, I have to pick him. He has been amazing. He lost his place to Yota. And he's played that well that Yota's not going to get that back for a while. So yeah, for me it's Firmino. So that is my starting eleven. Please feel free to do one in the comments if you have any ideas as well. And if you disagree with mine, which is probably obvious, you will do, but each to their own and that is my starting 11 I think that'd be good enough to win any league to be honest so yeah we'll see thank you for watching